Hello YouTube, my name is Tyler and I want to talk about how the universe is designed and how society can revolutionize the way we live by using how nature designs life and with that design improve technology for the people. I've been researching this topic for two years while going to college for electrical trying to comprehend how nature is structured and how to incorporate that into technology like electrical motors, turbines, and combustion engines. What I have found is interesting and worth a look. Nature itself has a pattern. Galaxies, apples, water that coils in on itself, seashells, and whirlpools have patterns involving two components in nature. These diagrams of nature consist of the formation of vortexes and toroidal fields. Water takes on a form when there is a hole at the bottom of a container. This shape, called a vortex, is formed, and if it was frozen, you would get a shape of a lily impeller. The lily impeller design has some interesting characteristics that have been looked at by a guy named Jay Harmon. You can give Jay credit for the lily impeller design, but what I found interesting is Jay's lily impeller design used 400 watts of power to churn 10 million gallons of water with a 3 foot device, compared to their competitors that used a 10 foot tall device using much more electrical energy. So what does this mean? Well, this means that a vortex in solid form has a profound effect on the environment around it. But how can we use this? Well, if you want to use this vortex shape, you would have to understand how an electrical motor works. The stator and the rotor are the main components of an induction motor. The stator, using electrical energy to create a spinning magnetic field, is used to spin the rotor. Spinning the rotor or shaft of the electrical motor will create a high torque spinning motion that can be used in work, such as conveyor belts, cars, washing machines, etc. Vice versa. If you spin the rotor, you create electricity with the coils of wire that are in the stator. Here is a simple diagram on what a rotor looks like. The Squirrel Cage AC induction rotor has a simple design, but let's put a little more squirrel into this Squirrel Cage design and make it like the Lily impeller from before. The iron in the rotor would look like the Lily impeller while having the copper fire filling up the cavity of the lily iron core for the rotor design. Note that there would be two lily impellers on each side of the stator. The reasoning is due to how the toroidal field is designed. Remember to make a device that works correctly and efficiently needs to be in line with nature. Now that we looked at design of a rotor, let's take a look at what the stator has to offer. The stator for this design has sheets of iron slapped together with wire going down straight down one end and back up the other, creating coils. This design is okay, but nature does not work in straight lines. Nature works more in spiraling formations. So if we take the toroid design and implement that into the stator, many people on YouTube have done this. I have seen videos in which a magnetic neodymium bearing in the center of the toroid, when the frequency was increased to 9,000 hertz, uh, created an RPM range of 500,000 RPMs. This itself is not proof that the design is more efficient than the regular stator design, but makes for a project that should be done to see if the design of the motor could be improved on in this way. This picture of the toroid shows how a toroid looks 
So if we mi mimic this design of the toroid by wrapping our coils around iron cores in this way, we can possibly have a greater electrical potential in the stator than with a conventional designed stator. Now if we take a look at the top left pic, you can see what my design mimics. This picture of a galaxy helps to show the toroid field and spiraling vortex that is incorporated into the design of the motor. Now my idea of a toroidal vortex motor is only a theory based on sacred geometry and, basic, and a basic understanding of electricity and hydrodynamics. So don't believe everything that I'm saying because I personally have not done the testing to see if this would work. I'm only putting this out here as an idea to see if people would actually try it and see what would happen. So, from that understanding, peace YouTube, and I hope you do whatever you wish with this knowledge that I have given you.